Hey there, hi there, ho there. Does anyone say that anymore? Probably not. So I think I'll bring it back. What do you think about that? Um, we are gonna play with a doll head. So welcome, subscribe to my channel, and let's get to it. All right, so we have the Cameron head here. This is by Laura Tuzio Ross. And yes, I have um, his other doll parts, but we are gonna cut his eyes open and see which eyes look best. So before we do that, I wanna show you eyes. So we're gonna start with acrylic eyes. These are some basic acrylic eyes that you can get. Um, basic acrylic eyes, really cheap. And these are used often, okay? They're not bad. This is what I started using when I started reborning. Um, no shame in that, but it definitely gets better than this. Now, I will say this. When I use these eyes, there are things I do. I haven't used them for a long time, I'm not gonna lie, but there's things that I do to make them look better. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is Bondic, it's a bonding agent. And what it does is it puts this bonding liquid on something and it's instantaneously cured. So what you do is um, there is a, oh, oh, you don't drop the eye. <laughs> like I did. Um, gosh, I haven't used this in so long. Let me see if I remember. I forgot, okay, it's been a while. <laughs> but um, basically it has like a black light or fluorescent light so you take the you open this tip and then you put this on and it, it looks like maybe glue and you put it around the eye and then this has a light to it and I don't remember how to turn it on it's so sad it's like gosh it should be simple you just figure it out I don't know um, I swear I used this. <laughs> I used it on like a few dolls actually. So then see this tip right here? A light comes out and it cures it and you go zzz over the um, bonded item that you just created, you know, and it has, it's liquidy looking and it's clear. And this infrared light seals it. So it, on, it cures immediately. And what that does, it just gives it a glass looking appearance almost. Um, so if you're using acrylic eyes, this is really cool to use and I wish I could give you a demonstration. Maybe I will someday in the future, but as you can see, it's been a hot minute since I used it. And that is because I don't really use acrylic eyes anymore. Um, I mean, like I said, they're not bad. Um, there's nothing wrong with acrylic eyes, but I've gotten to the point where I do prefer a nice glass eye and I can't really why <laughs> I like glass eyes and I can't deny now these are Ico so this is in the same family as acrylic but these are a little bit more expensive and they're made to look a little more realistic so um, they have more depth and um, they're created you know with the inside of the eye to just look more real and they're a really good choice too but yeah so those are Ico eyes that's a company it's E-Y-E-C-O. You can order the eyes from their website directly or you can get them from dolls by Sandy with an eye.com. She's a vendor for those. And then these are my favorite go-to. These are glass eyes. And you know, these are pricey, okay? You're looking at 35 bucks for these eyes. But I like them because they're flat back. But as you can see, these are beautiful eyes. Um, some of them come a little more detailed. You know, it depends on the, the company. It depends on the manufacturer. But these are really nice and they look beautiful in a reborn. Those are my go-to. And then I have these babies, which are my favorite in looks, but are definitely not my favorite in terms of putting them in a doll. Um, these are quite pricey. They range up to 50 bucks, not including shipping. 
So keep in mind, you know, if you're buying a doll with eyes like this, or even the flat, flat, flat back glass eyes, you know, the artist is hopefully including that in with the price because, you know, they're expensive. Okay, so these are glass eyes. They're coming off really strangely colored in the camera. They're not that bright blue. They're a lot more realistic looking. These are round eyes. And as you can imagine, they're just a pain in the butt to insert and glue and all that. But they're, they're lovely. They're lovely eyes. So let's look at all these together. Here are the eyes. Can you picture which ones are acrylic, glass? See the difference there? So that's what they look like together. And as you can see, these Ico ones come pretty close to these. I actually use that resin um, bonding agent. I use that on Ico as well. Ico uh, eyes, or I have at least. And it just kind of makes them have more of a glassy appearance. But yeah, those are our eyes, folks. Okay, so let's put them down. And I'm going to show you... Um, is this in the frame? I think it is. I better scoot up a little bit. So this is how I do this. Um, I have a curved seam ripper. That's what I love to use because the eye socket, if you can see that, is round. Okay? So it just makes it easier. So I'm going to take this and cut around the eye socket. Do, do, do. Let's see. All right. Here we go. And it's kind of a scary job. I always, I always flinch a little bit when I do this because you never want to like make a mistake and cut a part of the vinyl that you didn't intend to cut. I'm also left-handed, so everything I do <laughs> is awkward and nothing is made for left-handed people. So I always worry I'm going to mess something up. So I'm cutting, I'm cutting, I'm cutting. I think that's wide enough. Okay. So now we're gonna place some eyes in here. Now sometimes you can squeeze them in the front if it's warm enough. I never do that, to be honest, because you know that's what these are for. It's for being able to manipulate the um, the eye sockets there and like get your or manipulate the eyes and place them as you would want them and I need to cut that just a little more now with the full round you don't want that flap to be too big and open because it'll give you a pain um, but the there was one that um, there was a doll that I wanted to root eyelashes on and oh, Hold on. I'm cutting a little bit more here. Let's not cut my finger. That would not be nice. Um, there we go. Anyway, so I wanted to add eyelashes to this already painted doll. And it was a beautiful doll. And I, um, oh, I love it. See, he needs 22. And I ordered some 22 size eyes. You see how there's a gap there? These are 20 millimeter eyes. And this kit calls for 22 or 24. And I'm kind of thinking 24 would probably be the best. And so I'm going to be a little annoyed if my 22s don't work because I don't have 24s. And again, these are $40 eyes, right? So buying a bunch of them is not fun. So anyway, I wanted to root eyelashes on this doll. So I had to take it apart, as you can imagine. And... I really did a crappy job cutting those eye sockets, guys. I mean, I didn't cut them all the way. <laughs> okay. Or something. Oh, no, I did that one. Okay. Anyway, so I, I had to take the eyes out, and they were the round, and the artist had cut that flap totally off, so it was just an open socket in there. You know, see how that flap kind of protects the eye, and then you can glue the eye in and all of that? That flap wasn't there anymore. So I had to... I don't know why they did that. I don't, 
I don't know if it was purposeful or if they realized what a pain it was going to be, but holy cow, it was a pain. Okay, there's little Cameron with some beautiful blue eyes. I hope this is in the camera. Um, these are the flat back glass eyes, and I think they suit him just beautifully, except they're too small. So, unfortunately, the size 22 that I am, that's coming my way, the only a size 22, I should say, is actually green. And I don't know if I'm gonna like green on him. But you know, the funny thing is, you can't, I dropped another eye. You can't judge the color of the eye on the blank vinyl kit, unless you have a specific vision and you're just bomb like that because you know, the point is that once you are done with the painting and you see the skin tone and the hair color is figured out, you don't really know what you want to do. Okay. And these are, these won't work on him either because they're 20 mil. Well, they might. So these are the glass eyes. I'm only going to do one because I'm so scared of breaking it. Um, it's a little too small. He needs a 22. There is the, the full round glass eye. And we're going to carefully pop that out. I mean, they're pretty breakable, guys. They're scary to have. They're very light, very light and hand blown, very delicate pieces of work and they just can break easily. Now keep in mind all these eyes I'm showing you for Cameron are all too small for his kit. Um, but I thought he'd be the easiest one to show. I actually have a kit I'm painting that needs 20 millimeter. I don't know why I didn't use that one. Okay, so there are the acrylic eyes, too small again, but you get the general idea, okay? Not too bad, right? I mean, I, I'm at the point now where I feel like if you're painting, if you have a beautifully painted doll that you've spent a lot of time on, um, why not go for glass eyes, right? But the truth is acrylic can look really nice as well. And I think especially if you use the Bondic agent and get that resin over the eye, um, if you like, you know, if you like the glass look it gives you that kind of illusion of a glass look okay and then let's try these green puppies in there again these are not the right size so at least you're getting a lesson on why sizing eye sizing is important <laughs> and the funny thing is you can make these work what you would do is you'd have to position them in a really good spot and then you would get a piece of um, sponge and kind of put it back there and maneuver it so it pushes the eye to the front if that makes sense but yeah right now they shake around in his head and they're just too small they're just too small so getting the right size eye is always the best option I'm kind of digging the green ones what about you I mean like I said I don't know how his skin color is going to turn out and all of that yet but those are some pretty awesome eyes and I'm liking that I'm digging in because the eyes that I got in his size are green not this light they're kind of like uh you know a deeper green like a foresty green but I think that looks cool Cameron I can't wait to paint you I can't wait to paint you all right guys so there are the eyes if you have any questions um definitely drop me a comment or you can message me be happy to answer that for you and um, i will keep you posted on this little guy i have quite a few on my painting painting table now i'm doing a custom nino my second nino and he is almost done i will share him with you all and i have a couple of more that i'm painting just you know, just randomly painting. I have a Levi, a Pearl Awake, um, 
and I have a Maylin, sold out limited edition Maylin that I'm painting. But now I want to kick them to the curb and get started on him. But that's my problem. I have a lot of kits to paint. <laughs> so anyway, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great day, evening, or whenever I post this or whenever it's your time. <laughs> thanks. Bye.